What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. When it comes to dieting, losing weight, building muscle, there's not many better foods out there for us than plain old chicken breast. Low in calories, low in fat, high in protein, it's anabolic without even trying. But plain chicken breast by itself leaves a lot to be desired in the flavor department. Especially if you try to cook a big batch, microwave it a few days later, whoa. It ends up tasting like Frankenstein's big toenail. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that problem. We can make a huge batch, multiple days worth of barbecue chicken, that is not only delicious, but perfect if you wanna throw it on a sandwich, in a tortilla, on a bed of rice, or just eat it by itself, it's that good. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic instant pot shredded barbecue chicken. A cauldron of juicy shredded barbecue chicken that is so moist and delicious. It'll have every bird in your county perched outside them trees waiting to grab a whiff. If you've been wanting to eat chicken, but you don't wanna vomit after doing it, then look no further than this video, cause I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF anabolic a cookbook man this stupid simple easy delicious recipe is in there along with every other recipe that I drop on this channel it's a playbook a guidebook literally a lifestyle changer man you get it one time you get every future recipe I have for free and finally we have a diet for the regular folk that love food man you don't got to give up what you love to see results I guarantee it Mwah. so if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway then as always man I'm here to do it for you let's do it yeah I will be using a Ninja Foodie Deluxe on the Instant Pot setting, the pressure cook setting, for this recipe. Makes this stupid simple, man. I used to use slow cookers for recipes like this, which you can do, but it's gonna take a lot longer. If you wanna know the exact model I got, link in description, I got this down there if you wanna see it, but any pressure cooker will work. Come on. So the first thing we need is a big pack of chicken breast. And what I'm gonna do is pull out each breast, and you see some of this gross stuff right here? I'm just gonna trim that off. You don't want that. Any of this stuff right here, I'll get off too. And then once I have a relative clean looking chicken breast with all the excess trimmed off. I'm gonna toss it in a mixing bowl sitting on a food scale with the goal being to end up with three pounds of chicken or 1,344 grams. So I'm just gonna keep trimming until we reach that magical number. And now that the chicken is trimmed and weighed out, I'm gonna go ahead and measure 224 grams or about a cup of chicken broth in a measuring cup. Now I'm just gonna pour that into my Instapot. Then I'll just take my chicken breasts and lay them on the bottom of our pan here, right in that broth. And if you measured them out perfectly, it should be a snug fit. And then now we gotta add some barbecue sauce. My favorite brand with the best flavor has to be G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. Sweet and spicy, ooh, so much flavor. Keep that sugar and calories down, it's great. I'm just gonna take the whole bottle and pour it in here, trying to evenly spread it on top of the chicken. And keep in mind too, man, just using a regular barbecue sauce for this will add so many calories and so much sugar that it's not even funny. So when I always talk about making the better choices and doing these little tiny tweaks to your diet, man, this is what I'm talking about. One change can make all the difference. And then on top of our barbecue sauce, I'm gonna add in 56 grams of white onions. These are gonna cook down in there, add a ton of flavor, and just really help bring this whole dish together. You can skip this step if you don't like onions, but by the time it cooks down, you literally won't even notice they were ever there. And at this point, we're literally almost done. We just gotta make a seasoning blend. I need three grams of red cayenne pepper, three grams of paprika, three grams of garlic powder, and three grams of salt. And I'll just take this and sprinkle it right in here on top of the onions. And then the final ingredient we need is 30 grams of Worcestershire sauce. Still don't know if I'm saying that right. And then finally, I'll just dump it right in here. And now all that's left to do is to pressure cook this on high for 15 minutes. Once that 15 minutes is done, we're gonna release the pressure and let it slowly vent for about 10 minutes, which is a 25 total minute cook time. And then we should have some magic in here, baby. You guys ready? Let's go. And 
and check it out. In about 25 minutes, this is ready to go. All we gotta do is grab us a big spoon. Be careful because the pot's hot. Hold on to it and we're just gonna start stirring. And as you go, you'll press down on the chicken breast and you'll notice how it literally just falls apart. And after you stir for just a few minutes, all of your chicken is easily shredded, broken up, covered in a delicious sauce and ready for whatever you wanna do with it. You can eat it like it is right here. Throw it on top of some rice, sandwich her up. The world is really your oyster with this anabolic chicken. Just to show you guys how quickly we can transform this into a meal, I'm gonna take some ready rice from the microwave and then spoon some of our barbecue chicken along with that sauce right on top. Ooh, baby, bingo. Or we just take a low calorie bun and sit some of our chicken right on it. Would you look at that? Bingo. And there you have it. Couple little easy meals here and it was all made possible because we whipped up a batch of anabolic barbecue chicken. We were able to take regular chicken breast and turn it into something truly delicious. And all things considered, it was extremely simple. If you made it this far into the video guys, smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for that algorithm. And I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's dive right into this. But first, I need a little pick me up, man. Atomic Bomb Sickle Aminos Plus. Caffeine, good flavor for your water. Helps you to fill a jug up when you need it. Keeps you hydrated. The perfect concoction. Mm. Ooh, tastes like Bigfoot's droppings. Available at finalbossformers.com. Could RGF 10, saves you 10%. All right, let's get down in here. First and foremost, I'm just gonna do just a piece of the chicken. That way you can see just by itself that shredded barbecue chicken with that sauce and everything on it. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, that chicken by itself has such amazing flavor. I've been eating this the last like four days because you make one batch and you're a guy living by himself. You just put the rest of it in Tupperware and I've just been adding it to things, whether that's wraps, a couple sandwiches, awesome rice. Made it convenient because I can just eat whenever, right? It's like really a perfect meal prep recipe. Now let's do it on a Sammy. Sandwich and mm, that's money right there. That's money. Wow. I'm telling you, don't sleep on that sauce. You could literally take that Instant Pot when it's done, lift it up like a cauldron and just drink the sauce. It is so good. All right, we'll try with a little bit of rice. Whoop. Right there, baby. Mm. Wow. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, the measurements and everything, what you end up with for the whole thing is 1,472 calories, only 12 grams of fat, 301 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber. So basically what we were able to do is take regular chicken breast, which has a minimal amount of fat, is all protein and no carbs, and spice up three pounds of it by only adding 40 carbs and a little bit of fat. So instead of eating that plain old chicken breast, they get to dry, gets gross when you reheat it. What we've done here is we've locked in that liquid, that good tasting barbecue sauce. When you re-microwave it, it holds in that moisture. It stays fresh, it stays amazing. And we don't gotta feel like we're dieting, when in reality, we're still eating just chicken breast with a slight modification. I always say, man, dieting doesn't have to be tough. You don't gotta eat the boring foods. You can do things like this. Create awesome little meals, and it just doesn't feel like work, man. Being lean, making progress has never been this easy. You gotta make this into a sandwich. That's where it's at. Final bite. Let's go. Mm. 10 out of freaking 10. Seriously. Without having to add anything crazy, without taking chicken and just creating almost an entirely different food macro wise, we were able to just do a little bit to it and create something magical. And the possibilities are endless. Throw this on nachos, on a sandwich, in a tortilla. I've made quite a few wraps. Hamburger buns, slider buns. Put it on a hot dog bun, man. The world is your oyster. But as long as you got this anabolic barbecue chicken, you can't lose. And as always, this recipe is now in my anabolic cookbook along with every other recipe I drop on the channel. The goal here is to keep things simple, delicious, anabolic, keep us working towards our goals, man. We want this to be sustainable. There ain't nothing on this channel we're gonna make that ain't helping us move forward, right? My motto is, if there is a way to make something we love healthy, higher in protein and better for us, help us to achieve our goals, then I'm gonna make it, man. And eventually it'll be in this book because you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. Check that link in my description, man. I don't think you'll regret it. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for that algorithm. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, I'll have one more bite of this.
Mmm. -hmm. Just can't resist that barbecue chicken.